Welcome back, hackers. It's Magenta here with your Hackaday Prize update. We've officially wrapped up round two, and with over 200 submissions, we have a lot to cover today. We're going to show you some of the best projects from the Robotics Module Challenge. 3D printed motors sound okay, but seeing them in action is going to blow you away. This project really took modularity to heart. By combining a bunch of these 3D printed motors, they created a gang of four limbed bots. Another unique take was this project that created a motor out of just a few circuit boards and magnets. And this one could be scaled down to build really small motors for a swarm of robots. Just because robot hands pick things up doesn't mean they have to look like human hands at all. These two entries use something called a jamming gripper, which can be built at home with just coffee grounds and a balloon. The way this works is a vacuum sucks air out of the balloon to pick up objects. However, if you are looking for something more human-like, this team is 3D printing mechanisms called linear actuators. We love seeing robotic solutions applied to challenging problems. This bot is meant to reduce the use of pesticides. It autonomously drives down each row in a field, and using computer vision to detect weeds, it tills them up with a spinning tool. Next up in the Hackaday Prize, power harvesting. We want to see you gather power from someplace more interesting than just a wall plug. Can you reduce or remove batteries from electronics? Hackaday Prize entries have harvested power from solar, thermal, wind, ambient light, inductive coupling with power lines. We can't wait to see what you come up with next. That's it for this Hackaday Prize update. See you next time.